the time now is one o'clock in the morning. My alarm's just going off. One o'clock in the morning. I'm now going to climb the second highest mountain here in Bali, Mount Batur. I've been up for a very long time, like stupid hours, maybe 36 hours I haven't slept well. Um, I'm now going to ride for two hours up in this mountain at night time, climb this mountain and have another full day, so I'm not getting no sleep at all. Um, we'll see what the smoke is doing to me, whether or not I can still be optimal, but I feel tired. I was contemplating not going. I was contemplating just staying home and just chilling, but you know what? I pushed myself, man. And I always try to to see what I can achieve. So it's me against me. So I'm leaving and wait, well, let's see what happens on this climb, man. Jesus. Turn left. So it's 2.30 in the morning. You show my friend, it's 2.30 in the morning. I've made it before everyone else. It took me a two hour journey, it took me an hour and a half because there was no one on the road. So I was driving like I normally do, which is a madman. Uh, so no one's here yet, I'm here. I'm freezing, I've got like two layers on and trousers. Um, but I'm really excited about this Mount Batur thing. I was super, super tired, but because it's so cold, I'm awake now. Hello, Blee. Because it's so cold, I'm awake now. So I'm, I've got my bag pack ready. Super tired. Super, super, super. Oh, super, super tired. But I'm gonna make sure that I do this. I've had a full day of riding. Now I'm just super excited to just try something new and exciting. So yeah, man. I don't know what's all that bad. But I'm the first person here. Uh, I drove. So I made it. I'm the first person here. I try to do black man timing. There's a whole bunch of black people, but I'm the first black guy here. <laughs> I hate being the first one. I always like to come late for things, but um, I'm so tired. But you see, tired is in the mind. I'm a high performance individual and I'm not gonna let a lot of things like tired get in the way of me being productive and having having living the fullest that I wanna live. So what's super fun though is that I've had a lot of adventure today. I feel like I'm living fulfilled. I'm doing the things that make me excited and that's what's important. If you're doing the things that make you excited, I think the rest of the gang is here. This is gonna be interesting and fun. But if you don't do, if you don't do what makes you excited, then you're never gonna be happy in life because you're always gonna, you're always gonna make excuses. Like this is why you can't do something. So, I made a promise. I was gonna, you know, I made a promise to myself that I wanted to do this, and I want my integrity to match my values. That's the kind of way I want to live my life. If I say I'm gonna do something, I do my my hardest to make sure it happens. I don't let things external get in the way. The only one that can fail is me. So as I laid in my bed, I got back home. I was super, super tired. And for a moment, I was like, let me just cancel. If I do that, then I'll do that with everything that I do. Something comes in the way and I'll just cancel. If you say you're going to do something, you need to have integrity as a man to make sure that you go ahead and do it. Don't be flaky on things. Because how you do one thing is how you're going to do everything. But I'm, I'm super tired. I feel... Like, I just want to rest. I haven't slept in three days, probably. But I'm going to climb this mountain. Because I said I'm going to do it. That's how we should live. Is do the things you say you're going to do. And say the things that you want to do as well. And that way, you line up your values with your intentions. And then you're living with integrity. And you're living righteous. Because you're always going to follow through what you do. And what you say. So, I'm going to skip to some B-roll of me climbing this goddamn mountain. <laughs> I can't talk anymore. Yeah. Well, the rest of the gang has arrived. We're now, we're now about 13 or 50 people going to get ready to go and climb this mountain. That should be awesome. Back when I get to the top. Whether or not I've made it with my bad feet or my hands, 
and we'll see what Mount Tour is like first thing in the morning. So we got we got our equipment and we're ready to go. We're now gonna go and climb this mountain. I'm super, super excited. We've got a group of 12 people. I can't wait to get to the top and see Tour. Made it to the halfway point. It has been a great, great journey so far. You can see up my nose, but we've made it. And the views up top is beautiful. You've got to climb here at a certain point, but it's beautiful. There's too many people, way too many people. I should have done this when PPKM was out. There was less people, but I still enjoy it. Yeah. We made it to the top of Mount What time is it? No idea, man. But it is beautiful. Did you guys can see that or not? But we are at the top of the tour, and this is the end of the line. I'll be showing some B-roll for um, the sunrise, but I'm so so excited. Made it to the top. Wait, what mountain is that? I know. What mountain is that? So at the top of Mount Tour. At the top, having the sunset, uh, sunset, sunrise. Like I haven't had much sleep. It's been uh, hours since I've had some sleep. But at the top, it was an interesting climb. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, not the toughest climb I've had. I've definitely climbed tougher. Um, but it's been interesting. Monk mode has allowed me to be more focused. Not have any sleep, but still able to have the energy to climb up a mountain and enjoy it and after this i'm gonna to go to the hot springs after this and just rest and relax after a very very interesting couple of days but um for me today not much to report yet obviously it's first thing in the morning today i've got a few more things i have to do and achieve i will be reporting back but this is the top of mount Vator. beautiful <laughs> Beautiful. Good morning, we made it. <laughs> Laila, hello, we made it. 